Hello there, I've been sent here to see about ways and taking care of Strahd. Ah, there you are again. I suppose von Richten sent you here? At least you've talked to him recently. The were-ravens have brought me only the briefest of messages, and few enough of those. If he thinks I have time to come find him, I haven't. I've barely had time to rest. Oh, what's kept you so busy? Good fortune. After an unrelenting, tireless search, I have found records of a weapon known as the Sun Sword. If the accounts are true, it would be a beacon of hope to all of Barovia, a salvation to this arena, and anathema to Strahd. Only the records state that it is at the Abbey of St. Varkovia, and we can't get in. Right, and why can't we get into the Abbey? They haven't received a shipment of wine in months, and so they shut their doors. I don't know who's running the place, but I'm afraid they may not be all Arena hoped for. That changes nothing, of course. If the Sun Sword is in there, we must get in somehow. And I presume you have a plan for this? If the Abbey won't open its doors until they have their wine, then you'd better go to the Wizard of Wine's vineyard. Look for David Martikov and find out why nothing's been sent. All right, fine. So, all right, I'll get to the bottom of this. Pretty well, let's go to a vineyard and find out why they haven't been delivering any wine recently. Hello there. I was wondering if you could tell me why the Abbey hasn't received any wine recently. This is how it ends? Run out of our home and business? Huddled in the bushes while crazed druids destroy everything we've built over the years? Every last one of our magic gems stolen? No. No, I won't have it. Stefania was right. If every last member of the Varkova family falls protecting the Wizards of Wine, then so be it. What happened? I just came here to get some wine. Well, if it's wine you want, it'll be a long to wait indeed. Our winery was just attacked, invaded by druids from Yesterhill and their twisted creatures. We did our best to resist, but it was hopeless. My family was able to escape. My workers were not so lucky. And Stefania, she ran back in saying she has some plan to deal with the poisons. Maybe you can succeed where we failed, Outsider? Will you try to help Stefania? Will you try to save the Wizard of Wines? I suppose I'll go and do that. Alrighty. Oh, I was wondering... Do you know of a good cleric that might be able to help me? My last one had to stay at the Blue Water Inn, and I need some help, I think, in this. Oh, uh, well, a cleric. Well, then, there was one that was sent by the Abbey. Maybe she can help you. All right, thank you. All right, you say your name's Miranda? Well, welcome, Miranda. Let's see if we can find out what's going on here. Oh, this must be Stefania. You immediately spot a lone figure crouched near the entrance to the loading dock. This must be Stefania Martikov, Davian's daughter. Uh, hello there. What are you doing here? Leave while you can. It's not safe here. There are druids and their creatures all over the winery. Yes, yes, yes. Well, come with me. Your father sent me to get you out of here. I'm not going anywhere while our winery is being invaded. I can't let them just destroy something that means so much to my family, to everyone. Our wines are drunk throughout the land, you know, but this may be the last vintage we ever ship. I saw one of the druids poisoning our main wine storage vats. It's our last remaining stock. If it's destroyed, then... Wait a moment. I just thought of something. We might be able to purify the wine with an antidote if we can get it in time. Will you do this for me? I promise I'll leave you if you purify the wine. Alright, and what do I need to do that? Find some brown mold. 
it's nasty stuff, but it will neutralize the toxin. I know some groves in the cave down in the basement. Though the mold will destroy the flavor, but we do have a charm of purification. It might restore that flavor. The charm is somewhere up in the family quarters upstairs. Uh, I don't know exactly where. Get a nice hefty amount of brown mold and add it to the vats. Then dip the charm of purification in it. That should purify the wine without ruining the flavor. I'm sure those druids will try to stop me, but I'll do what I can. Please, find the ingredients for the antidote and purify the wine. Uh, on your bags. Our wine is the last drop of hope some people have. I'll do what I can, Stefania. Uh, this doesn't look like the way. The way forward is blocked by giant twisting roots. The work of the druids who embedded the wine in it. Well then, let's try this way. Hello, druid! I don't think they're nice druids. Ah, 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 ah! You two, down, down, down. Good. Now, let's see. We need to find a way downstairs. How about this way? Well, I found a druid. And whatever these things are. Blights. Yeah, blight. That's certainly the right word for it. Well then, let's head downstairs. This must be the wine cellar. And... And we have these blights all over the place. And the work of the druids blocking ways, apparently. So how about down this way? Ah! Speaking of druids. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, I think I need to do something about fire. And what does this thing do? Not sure what that did, but I'm sure it'll help to open the way to some place. Ah, druid. Ah, probably it opened the way to get where to get here. Okay. Well, anything else here before? I go oh, more wolves. And I would presume then that this is going to open up that gate? Ah, so it does. So I opened up that gate just so I could open up this one. How nice! And more blights. Yeah. Then we got all of them done. So does that open our way down into the caves where we can get the mold? Well, it does open a way to a druid. Ouch. Lightning! Well, and all that trouble. It's protecting myself against fire and they throw lightning at me. Well, that's druids for you. Let's head downstairs. The cave leads down into the dark and the damp. Now, let's see. Which is the best way to go? What's this way? A big hole. That's what's this way. Rats. That's what's this way. Rats. But no mold. All right. Well, we'll have to scour this place. I figure we'll need a few handfuls of that, and we should have enough for our task. Let's try this way. Whoops. Not good. 
uh, yeah, let's. Hopefully we won't run into too many of those things. Now, let's see. Brown mold. Well, then I think we need maybe two more of these would be enough. It's down this way. More brown mold. Okay. Whatever that was. bad apparently now let's see it's this way how about this way and more mold it looks like oh good that takes care of the mold so let's head upstairs and find that charm of purification now let's see if we can find find the purification charm and that is somewhere in the living quarters if I hear properly a druid kneels on top of one of the huge vats protected by mystic wards she is completely absorbed by her task poisoning the wine inside the vat well then we're going to have to find this charm and then see if we can find some way also of getting through that barrier found the upstairs and some way seem to be blocked so what is the Majikov family makes its home in this part of the winery well then let's see well we've got tweak blights in here that's for sure and probably some druids anything useful in here Nope. So on to the next room. Uh oh oh. Ah! Druid! Hey! Uh 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 uh. And Charm of Purification. You found all the ingredients needed to purify the wine. Now to add the antidote to the large wine vats on the main floor of the winery. So let's head back downstairs and take care of this. Now where is that druid? Aha! Oh! Barrier's down. Good! I can deal with her. The druid prepares to attack. Why do you insist on bowing? Yeah, right. Bat like forms run forward to protect the druid. More blights rush to the defense of the poisoner. Well, too late now. The druid's poison <laughs> taken care of. You rush to add the antidote to the wine vats. I'll do it. The stench of the poison clears and is replaced with a sweet smell of fermenting grapes. Thanks to you, the wizard of wines will produce one more vintage. Oh, where you go? Oh, there you are. Thank you, Miranda. Good. All clear? Good. Well, the experts will test it to make sure. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Well, nothing much, but tis enough. Let's go back and report our results. With a little advice from Stefania, I managed to purify the wine, and she should be out in a moment. Ah, so Stefania is safe, and the druids are taken care of? You've done well indeed! Uh, pity about the wine, though. Oh, it's no longer poisoned, but this last vintage is missing the magic spark it had when we still had the gems. I have a few bottles of the old vintages left, mind you. And maybe someday the other keepers of the feather will convince me to give you some. But those bottles are rare and precious. And I'm not convinced yet. Still, 
It would be rude to send you away empty-handed. You can have this. Doesn't compare to a fine vintage, of course, but you might find it handy. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Constitution plus six. Well, something to consider. Now, let's head back to the tower and find out what I need to do next. I have managed to kick some druids out of the winery and they should be able to get back into operation. But they've lost all their gems and who knows the condition of the current vintage. The vineyard's overrun and they're, oh, what did you say, were gems stolen? I had to imagine things could be so bad there, Pine Leaf. Still, we are setting things to rights. We mustn't give up hope. All right, we'll get the Abbey doors open yet. Good. Now, we know one of the gems was stolen by the Druids of Yesterhill. Will you meet Dragomir Zalkin there, Pine Leaf, and see if you can get it back? I will work with the Keepers of the Feather to learn where the other gem has gone. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll get it back right away. So now let's deal with the druids.